What's going on boys and girls? Welcome back to another One Punch Man World video. All right guys, and it's time to do an update on the tier list. So we've got a couple changes to make. Since we have the drop of Atomic Samurai, I wanna do a couple discussions about what the current tier list is, a couple changes we're gonna make on the tier list itself, and then how we're going to adjust and add Atomic Samurai to it. First thing I want to talk about, uh, the tier list currently as it stands will pretty much remain the same. There has been a hot topic about Sonic. All right, so Sonic, Sonic, Sonic. So some folks believe that he doesn't do enough damage. Um, I still stand behind Sonic where he's at uh, because my Sonic is built with the SSR and the ability to do insane amount of damage. I'm not sure what's going on. As a free-to-play player, Sonic has done wonders for me. The only reason why Sonic would drop at this point is if we're looking at... Um, adding a better technique character to the fold and in this case we are so what we're going to do and i'm going to say this again i'm going to start this video off but with that but i'm also going to throw in the caveat of the fact that every ssr unit can be ss if you use them properly and this is i'm, I'm being completely honest with that okay guys sr units are also very very powerful for free-to-play players especially because you can as a matter of fact use them at their full potential because you can potential six them fairly easily in comparison to getting ssr potential sixes right so we're going to make a couple changes here to the tier list starting off at the bottom of the list so this is going to remain the same i'm not going to change this so d and c stays the same uh movement still in my opinion after the glitch especially still going to be d uh saitama looking for a job still going to be d I'm not changing that. I still, I'm not a big fan of these characters. They're still, in my opinion, the worst of the SR characters in the game. Uh, Smile Man, still there. Lenny Max, I mean, you can, Max Lenny, you can make a, make a, you know, an argument for him to be a, a B. Arguably can be a B, uh, lower tier B, but I still think having a C for him is not bad there. Uh, Stinger's still really, really good for Composure Break. Uh, Masashi is actually going to jump up to A. I've been playing around with him a little bit more. With the proper dodging mechanics and, and, and proper timing with his charges, he could actually be a very powerful A. As a matter of fact, SR, I'm going to, the SR that I think deserves an S, I'm going to toss Genos and snake up here uh lily arguably can also be an s but these two are going to live up there we're going to drop sonic down to an s i'll do it this time around only because there's two replacements now that i've been using them that are a little bit better at what they do um so let's talk about those two first so first off fabuki so <laughs> shout out to my discord and their constant badgering of this uh, but they have a very good point. When you master Fabuki, okay, and then when we first started playing this game, a lot of us didn't know how to use her. She wasn't in the beta. Uh, and now that I've, I've, I've been able to use her a lot more often on my buddy's account and at the same time seeing gameplay from people on my Discord using her properly, uh, she is absolutely an S, S character, an SS character. So she is top tier for sure because of the ability to do unlimited combos, just non-stop skills. Uh, and she she's very powerful, uh, has a good uh, combination of defensive and offensive skills, has decent range, and overall just a marvelous character when it comes down to non-stop DPS. So if you time, if you if you learn her timing correctly and you can manage that, you, you have a like unstoppable force on your hands for DPS. So I will put her. She could arguably be better than Zombie Man in this case if you can do everything correctly with her. Um, so the two sisters right now are probably going to be, with the current roster, not taking Atomic Samurai into account at the moment, would probably be top tier. Okay, Saitama will still stay where he is. Zombie Man absolutely stays where he is. Fang actually jumps up a slot here. Um, after using him more, building him correctly with all attack, the proper crit negative, uh, negative crit stats, uh, and just being able to master his parrying, He's insanely powerful. So keep that in mind when you're looking into this. Now, uh, I know last time I didn't add Piri Piri, so let me quickly add him as well to the list. So bear with me for one second. There we go. Okay, added him to the list. Now, Piri Piri here will also be arguably a very powerful S tier. Uh, he could also, again, any again any, any SSR could really be SS tier if you know how to use them properly. But if we're going to go with just basic average playing abilities, this is probably your current SS tier list. I think this makes sense. Now, Sonic, I dropped down one. And the reason why I'm dropping down Sonic one, not, not because of what everybody's talking about in terms of his DPS and none of that. I don't, I don't agree with any of that. I think his DPS is still stellar, in my opinion. I use him all the time. He's still my main go-to technique DPS until Atomic Samurai came out. So Atomic Samurai currently sits definitely top tier SS. Um, I would put him right here. Uh, Tatsumaki only has one simple advantage over him that is number one range attack her free motion and the fact that Tatsumaki also is a very very simple easy character to use Atomic Samurai is a advanced unit 
okay? And what I mean by this, when you master him, there will be nothing out there that's going to hit as hard, okay? Especially with Composer Break, uh, with his alts, with both of his forms, uh, and the fact if you can get his SSR especially, you're golden. You're going to be destroying stuff. I've seen, I've seen like, Whale Atomic Samurais one-shot break, Composer, a level rank 15 boss. One hit, completely gone. Um, so, like, and we're talking about the skill, obviously, the SSR skill. So if you, and and, I'm, and the fact that all of his Composure damage goes into his attack makes him an unstoppable force for any boss. Like, you want to bring him for everything. And not to mention, he's also one of the best auto units in the game for melee. So Atomic Samurai absolutely sits second place to Tatsumaki. I'd say Fubuki, Neg, Zombie Man's still there. Uh, as you can see, these two are going to be uh, composed, composed, but you have to remember the type matters. So Atomic Samurai works perfectly in, in ta tandem with Sonic because Sonic's SSR will boost all technique attack. Fang works excellent with SSRs as well too because they're all technique. So if you put these three together right here, you've got an unstoppable melee force, right? But with Assault, you still have a little bit of advantage with range and melee because Zombie Man, uh, Tatsumaki, and Fubuki here are all assaults and they're incredibly well, well put together. Now the reason why Metal Knight doesn't move up, of course, is the fact that I still think he's a little slow. Even though he's a great nuke, he still takes a lot of effort and timing to learn. Uh, but also his, his a little, he's a little too slow um piri piri the timing is everything with him so a lot of people have a hard time his pairing is way harder in my opinion than fangs uh because fangs you technically don't have to always parry you can still do w really well without the parry aspect of him with piri it's a lot of is timing correctly so that makes him a lot more difficult to play genos sr moved up because he's honestly one of the best range units in the game one of the easiest ones to con uh, continue using his first skill uh, which does a ton of damage uh, snake when you master him a potential six he's incredible like super super really good damage uh, great crit etc uh, ss uh, sorry S ssr genos uh, actually will move up here as well too i'm going to put him back up to ss again um for overpower, he's incredible. For a free S free to play unit, I've actually built mine up finally to the point where I can see his full potential, and he's killing it. So I think having these guys up up here makes, makes a lot more sense now. Uh, so you, you guys can see here, a lot of SSRs do bring uh, much to the table. So for those who are wondering, hey, do I go for Atomic Samurai's SSR? Do I go for, not Atomic Samurai's, because you actually can't get his through that list, but Zombie Man's or Genos, I always say your choice. Whoever you enjoy more, brings a lot to the they both bring the same thing to the full the, to the front they're both composer units both of them have the same exact same skill just one has overpower one has it for assault right so this right here is really good now arguably um genos could be a, a, a high end s as well but i think he deserves the lowest tier s maybe even one above fang maybe like that i think or maybe even above saitama i'd probably go like that and what i'm starting to realize more and more guys is that composure break units bring so much more than regular dps units in my opinion they just they're just more important in my opinion because when you composure break a boss you just do so much more damage you have so much more timing uh and everybody else has a breather and 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 in that regard right and not to mention composure break units also are incredible dps's so just so you guys can see that that's how the setup would go now with a i think we'll keep that the same i think mustachio is really good i'd probably put him right here uh iron is still an a uh stinger we're gonna keep b and golden ball will stay b uh these guys will stay the same now in regards to any other new units coming out well obviously the tier list let me know what you guys think i think this is a pretty good one right now i think after doing a lot of testing this should be pretty accurate now again arguably some of these guys can drop to s again uh with more testing of course but again i think i fully tested this i'm, I'm level 75 rank 15 I've, I've got them mostly like built up uh and and fairly easy to use um and i've been able to use every single unit on every single boss and and kind of done that now until pvp comes out then we're going to see a big change in in, in in terms of how the tier list is going to look but for now i think this is exactly how this is going to look so there is your march tier list with the atomic samurai added to it guys hope you enjoyed it let me know what your thoughts are this is pain i'll talk to you guys in the next one take care